Okay, Cut. next. Yo, what's up? Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Nashville. What are you gonna perform for us today? Oh, I play the cello. I play it like a guitar. It's everybody from American Idol has got a guitar. And also, I'm Americano. Gotta do the PJs look. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, okay, off you go. Okay, did you wanna ask me what song I'm saying? I already did. Oh, what did I say? I was saying. That you're Americano and you play with your PJs. Okay, what song you wanna to hear today? Uh -huh. I'm the next American Idol, you know what I mean? I'm the next American Idol. I'm sorry, it's a no for me. But I sing good. Sorry, sweetheart, it's but, a no. But but this pajamas look is the way to go. Sorry, right, it's a no. Um, come back next year. What about what's that Australian dude with the the accent, Nicole Kidman's uh, husband? Sorry, mate, it's a no for me too. Oh, you're the worst judge in the world. Uh, you have a lot of heart. Keep practicing. Come back next year. Oh look, Lucky and Cat seems to think they're funny. Come on, Lucky. Tell them that I should be picked as America's next top... Wait, that's not America's next top model. America's idol... America's next top idol. Mm, Lucky's even saying that. So... Security. <sighs> so... Hi. Paul, Hi. Paul tricked me into practicing cello. You know how he tricked me, guys? How? He said, maybe you can play some cello on YouTube. And you know, I would do anything for YouTube because I love making videos for you guys. I just and you love ran it. over there and picked up your cello and started playing. Yes. Total <sighs> trick. You know how yesterday I showed you, um, or not yesterday, a couple of days ago, I showed you how I scheduled? Well, it's... It has helped, but it also makes me feel bad because I actually can't fulfill everything that I want to do. But, like, I exercise only once this week. But today, I mean, this week we had a snow day and I had to reschedule teaching. It's just been one thing after the other. Anyway, I figured it out, sweetheart. Mm hmm. Okay, you guys can't see this, but Paul is chowing down on some greasy chicken right now. <laughs> mm hmm. But I figured myself out what makes me tick. What is it? Okay, I am someone that is very um, ambitious and likes challenges. I like challenges. And I like, that's why I like YouTube because I like seeing how my channels grow with the numbers and then like with the hits and like people's comments and the likes, you know, like that gets me going. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking about what got me going when I was young with the cello and why I was totally like really really committed to playing the cello yeah. I was all about conquering the cello like it's like a athletes for Olympics you know they want to conquer every single thing and to make it perfect for me it was about conquering like how good could I possibly be so when I was young, I would do like these exercise book and I would do it so that it's absolutely perfect. I would do like, you know, there are these um, etudes, you know, I would do them all and, and memorize one every week. So I always had a goal like that. And then it, I would go up to the next book and then the book after that, then I would play the next concerto and the next sonata and memorize the next thing and the next recital. Would, like that's what got me going. Yeah. You know, and the same thing as I was being the manager of my ensemble, what got me going is I was able to get the next gig and then I was encouraged and I got another gig and then another gig and then another gig. You see? So in order for myself to be motivated, I need to structure my life so that I can achieve these goals like that. Paul. I hear you talking, sister. But the problem is, like, like... <sighs> It's harder now because, I mean, with the cello especially, 
it's harder now because it's not like I can say, oh, I've reached my goal and then I have nobody to share it with. So what I really need to do is to have, like, go back to my channel, chan channel and be like, in a week I'm going to do this on YouTube and just play it and, like, just build up like that. What channel channel? I have a channel channel. Check it out. I'll put the link below. Is it WendyLaw.com? Yeah, it's just the Wendy Law channel. And I mostly just put my performances up there. But, you know, there's these guys on YouTube, they put like um, all, um, I think someone put all the Piatti etudes, not Piatti, I think Popper etudes. There were 40 of them. And just whenever he's ready, he just sits in his house with the, I don't even think it's that good of a camera. He just starts playing. And when it's really perfect, he, he performs on YouTube. All right, so let's and he's do getting one of tons those of hits. YouTubes. But I feel like that's the only way I can keep doing this channel thing because I don't know. It's just like I don't know. Or either like, and and I need someone to keep me accountable. I keep saying that. Like I seriously need you guys to help me. <laughs> like I am doing it. I'm like on the verge of doing it, and it's like it's hard for me. So you're supposed to be playing the cello, and you got out of it by saying that you're gonna rant for a minute. So go start playing. I am. Play those A tubes. Take it out. Play um. Oh. It's not like I don't have anything practice for. I got like performances coming right up. I have plenty to practice for, but it just doesn't interest me to practice for performances. All right, play Golly Hall. I can't. I don't even know how it goes. Play um. Play Isaac Parman. But anyway, the point of the story I'm trying to say is like you need achievable goals. Mm, it's just neighbors. The point is, I you need achievable goals, and you have to put it like with a deadline, and then you have to do it by level and level. That's what, why do you think that game? What's that YouTube? Not YouTube. The I Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Why do you think everybody's obsessed? Because you want to go to the next level. Then once you achieve that level, you want to go to the next one. You know, I even fool my kids into playing games. You know that? How do you do that? I, I would, because I teach them how to play the recorder. I'm like, level one. And then they do this. I'm like, level one pass, level two. And they're like, yes. And then, and then they play a few more notes and then make it a little bit harder. I'm like, level two pass, level three. So that's how I teach too. All so, right, so we need to get to level one tonight, which is to actually put some music in front of you. Because you don't have any music in front of you. Hey, I'm doing the Hugh Hafner thing. Okay, very cute. Where's the music? You don't even have a music stand. Where's the music stand? Is that you did. I mean... Okay, sounds terrible. This is an etude that I used to play. Alright, uh, how about go get your music stand so you can play? Challenge number one, get your music stand. <laughs> okay, pause. I'm just practicing. Go ahead, I'm going to go to green screen. You're actually practicing in outer space, space, space.
part. You want to hear that again? Do you see these are called harmonics? So you don't press down. It's like the harmonies that um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain harmonics. It's like you don't press down on the finger, and it has the sound. That's overtones. That's what it is. Overtones of the strings. Open tones. Overtones. Oh, over. It's called overtones. And then you can create fake harmonics like. See. Sounds like whistling. So listen to this. It's really cool. That's my favorite part. Wait, let me see. See those overtones? There. So that's how I used to practice. I would focus on a phrase until I get it absolutely perfect. And that's, you know, that's just sort of kind of like my personality. I just want, like, I'm a perfectionist. Not perfectionist, but I want to do it really well. Like, when I want to learn something. So, like, this. I keep comparing it to YouTube, but it's like that kind of focus I have that when I really want to do well. So I need to bring that back to cello and also on YouTube too. Like I really want to do well. Like that wasn't in tune for example. That was better, but still about 99% in tune. That's better. sure that I nail it every single time like the whole thing my mom taught me is like you have to be so good that you don't know how to play it wrong that's how good you have to be like you're so solid with your technique you can't even get it wrong <laughs> phrase of the casado you're gonna hear it perfect and that's gonna be a little while <laughs> anyway <laughs> 